Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSub. So in the last video, I've told you how to expand a function using Fourier series. So today we will discuss some typical problems of Fourier series, right? So let's go to the first example. The first exercise says, you need to obtain the Fourier series for fx equal to pi minus x upon 2, defined over the interval 0 to 2 pi. And we need to deduce this expression, right? So deduction means that from the Fourier series expansion, we have to obtain these values. So how to obtain it? So the first job is to calculate the Fourier series expansion for fx equal to pi minus x upon 2. So we need know that any general interval is given by c to c plus 2l, right? So I'm not explaining here again. So I think by now you know that when you compare it with 0 to 2 pi, c comes out to be 0 and l comes out to be pi, right? So now substitute it in the values of a naught. So today even I'm not going to write the general formula. I'm going to substitute the values directly. So it is 1 by l, so l is pi. Then we have integration 0 to 2 pi function that is pi minus x divided by 2. So I'm writing that 2 outside and we have dA. So when we integrate it, we get 1 by 2 pi. Integration of pi is pi x. Integration of x is x square by 2. And then we have limits from 0 to 2 pi. So this turns out to be 1 by 2 pi. Pi into 2 pi is 2 pi square. Right? And we have 2 pi whole square. 4 pi square divided by 2. That is 2 pi square. This is what we will get, isn't it? Okay, so 2 pi square minus 2 pi square will turn out to be 0. That means the first Fourier coefficient is 0. Now let us calculate the second Fourier coefficient. So the second Fourier coefficient is a n. Now what is a n? a n is equal to, again I am going to write the general formula. So a n is 1 by 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi pi minus x. So you can see that I have written pi minus x by 2 outside into cos n pi x by l. So pi will again get cancelled and we are just left with x. Right? So we have cos nx dx. So this becomes 1 by 2 pi. I am applying eyelet rule. First function, second function. And when we apply the eyelet rule, we get pi minus x into integration of cos nx is sin nx by n. Then we have derivative of pi minus x is minus 1. Integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n square. Now which terms will go off when we put the upper and the lower limit? When you put the upper limit 2 pi, sin 2 and pi is 0. And when you put the lower limit 0, sin 0 is 0. So that means this term is gone. So now what are we left with? <coughs> we'll get a minus sign, minus, minus, minus and we'll get n square outside. So we have 1 by 2 pi n square. And then when you put the upper limit, it is cos of 2n pi, 2n pi minus when you put the lower limit, it is cos of 0 that is 1. Now, what is cos 2n pi? That is also 1. So, 1 minus 1. That means the second Fourier coefficient is also 0. Now, let us try to calculate the third Fourier coefficient. That is bn. So, what is bn? 1 by pi. Integration 0 to 2 pi. Pi minus x by 2. So, I am writing that 2 outside. And then we have sin n x dx. So again, applying the eyelet rule, first and the second function. So we get 1 by 2 pi, pi minus x, first function as it is. Integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n minus derivative of pi minus x is minus 1. Integration of minus cos nx will be minus sin nx by n. Right? And again, we will put the limits as 0 to 2 pi. So now again, let us see. So 
So sine 2 and pi is 0, sine 0 is also 0. So now what can be taken out common? Minus can be taken out common and n can be taken out common. So we have minus 1 by 2n pi. Let us put in the upper limit. Pi minus 2 pi is minus pi. And then we have cos 2n pi. Right? And when I put 0, pi minus 0 will be minus pi. And cos of 0 is 1. And what is cos 2 and pi? Cos 2 and pi is also 1. So this is basically minus pi minus pi minus 2 pi. So minus 2 pi and minus 2 pi will get cancelled and we get the values as 1 pi. Right? Now once we get 1 by n, how to obtain the values? So now let us first try down the Fourier series expansion. So f of x comes out to be a0 by 2, so a0 is 0. Then we have summation a n term that is also 0. So we simply get summation n equal to 1 to infinity. bn is 1 by n, so we get 1 by n and we get sin n x. So let's open up the terms for first few terms. So the first term is 1 by 1 sin x, then we have 1 by 3 sin 3x then we sorry I'll get 1 by 2 sin 2x then I'll get 1 by 3 sin 3x then plus 1 by 4 sin 4x and so on right now for the so this is your Fourier series expansion now we need to deduce this so we have to make pi by 4 on the right left hand side and we need to get these values. So what suitable values can you substitute in x so that you can see that all the even terms sign to it they go and we get an alternating plus minus sign over here. So just think for a minute and let me know that what value of x we should substitute here. Right. So you can see that. If I substitute x equal to pi by 2, then what will happen? The first term will be sine pi by 2 and it is 1. Then the next term is sine pi, which, which will become 0. Then I'll have sine 3 pi by 2 and sine 3 pi by 2 is again minus 1. So alternatingly plus minus we will get and what is the right hand side? Right hand, uh, sorry, the left hand side is fx, which is pi minus x upon 2. So when I substitute here, get pi minus x is pi by 2 and then I have a half here right and on the right side we will get 1 then I'll get minus 1 by 3 then I'll get 1 by 5 and so on pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2 pi by 2 into half is pi by 4 so we get pi by 4 is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 and so on so this is how we have to do the deduction part. So in the deduction, we have to obtain the Fourier series expansion. And from the Fourier series, we will get suitable value of x to obtain the Right? So let us try one more problem and let us see how to solve this Fourier series. So we need to calculate the Fourier series for fx equal to this interval. 0 in the interval minus pi to 0 and then x square in the interval 0 to pi, right? So the first step is always to identify the value of c and c plus 2l. So c and c plus 2l becomes, so what is the general interval given to us in this question? The entire interval, it is from minus pi to pi. So c comes out to be minus pi and c plus 2l is equal to pi. So when I put minus pi, what will L come out to be? L will come out to be pi. Right? So now let us calculate A0. So what is A0? A0 is 1 by pi integration. First, it will be from minus pi to pi. But since there is a, you know, conti discontinuity at 0, so we will break it. We will write minus pi to 0. The function is 0 dx. And then we have 0 to pi. The function is 
x square dx, right? So this integration is obviously 0. So this is 1 by pi. Integration of x square is x cubed by 3, limits from 0 to pi. So this is pi cubed by 3, pi cubed and pi will get cancelled and we get pi square pi, right? Now let us try to calculate a n. So a n will be 1 by pi. Then obviously the first integral will become 0. So we will be only left with the integral 0 to pi x square into cos n x dx, right? So let us apply the eyelid rule. So we have 1 by pi. Now when you apply eyelid first function as it is x square. Integration of second cos nx integration is sin nx by n. Then derivative of x square is 2x. Integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n square. Then alternatingly plus minus. Derivative of 2x is 2. Integration of minus cos nx is minus sin nx by n cube. Right? And limits from 0 to pi. So let us see which integrals will become 0. Sin n pi is 0. Sin 0 is 0. So this is 0. Similarly, this integral is 0. So we are just left with the middle one. So what all we can take out common? Minus into minus will become plus. We have 2 upon n square pi common term out. Now we are left with x into cos nx. So when we substitute, we'll get pi cos n pi and 0 will give us value 0. So cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n. So you can see pi gets cancelled. And we have 2 by n square minus 1 raised to power n. Right? Now let us calculate bn. <coughs> bn will be 1 by pi. Again the first integral will become 0. The second integral is 0 to pi x square sin nx dx. So again let us apply the eyelid rule. So this is 1 by pi x square first function. Integration of second function. That is minus cos nx by n. Then derivative of x squared is 2x. Integration of this is minus sin nx by n squared. Then plus derivative of 2x is 2. And integration of this term is minus. So there is minus already. So we will get simply cos nx by n cube. Right? Limits from 0 to pi. So which terms will have will give us value 0? This will automatically give us value 0. So now let us substitute it here and let's see what values do we get. 1 by pi is out. Now in the first term I can take out minus 1 by n. And when I put the upper limit I will get pi square cos n pi. Right? 0 will give us value 0. And the second term I will get 2 by n cos n pi minus cos 0 is 1. Let's expand this. So this term becomes 1 by pi. Then we have here minus pi square by n minus 1 raised to power n. 2 by n cube, we have 2 by n cube minus 1 raised to power n minus 1. Right? So, what can be done? You can leave the answer here or you can categorize into even or. So, I would suggest that it won't be simplified further. So, you can leave your answer like this. So, we got the values of a0, an, and bn. So, what is your four year series expansion finally? fx is equal to a0 by 2, so it is pi square by 6. Then an is this term, so I can write it as 2 times summation n going from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to power n by n square cos nx. Then I have summation term 1 by pi 
summation n going from 1 to infinity. I'll write this whole term within brackets. Minus pi square by n minus 1 raised to power n plus 2 by n cube minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 multiplied by sine. So this becomes my answer. Right? So I hope you have understood. Right? So it's basically it matters how calculations you can do. Right? So the more accurate your calculations are, the more perfect answer you will get. Right? So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.